kahit 2028 matapos hindi ako makilala ng ating pangulo hindi ako hindi mahalaga sa akin yon hindi ako magtatampo dahil nandito ako hindi para pansinin niya kung hindi para suportahan ko siya o, tuloy po natin Um, Congressman Joey Salceda talked about a re-engineered fund. And I wanted to ask you, uh, it's, he said he described it as the securitization of 44 billion pesos and um, it will be listed in the stock market. Uh, you have lawmakers, opposition lawmakers, who say that under the law, 50% of the income of GOCCs have to be remitted to the National Treasury and you use it for the budget. So along with that, how could you ensure that the fund won't be used for money laundering given you will be okay. accepting private funding? Let's do two in one day. Yes. Uh, we'll do the first. Napakaganda ng issue na yan na binrot out ni Karen Dabila. And look, mga tol, kung paano ito in-address ng ating mahal na pangulo. First one first. First of all, the idea of using the GOCCs to put value into the Marlika Fund was broached in, in Davos and it was brought up. I don't know why it made its news here immediately to the, to the Philippines uh, and uh, people are very concerned about it. I watched your interview with uh, uh, Congressman Ed Selegman this morning yeah. and I have heard the comments that uh, Congressman Joey Salceda has, uh, has made and his concerns that he, that, he, that he has aired. I agree with him. You cannot use funds for G, of the GOCC. Pero ng gobyerno, what will the government spend? It is a proposal. It's not something that we have adopted. Uh, the GOCC, uh, we, 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 there, there are several problems. Because I remember one, we, we, had a, we had a little meeting, lasted about 15 minutes, and, uh, and that was proposed. Um, but after the meeting, I put, Uh, Senator, uh, Secretary Ben Jokno side, and we said, Did you, what do you think? Sabi, hindi yata pwede. And I said, it's too disruptive. Think, every single GOCC has its own charter. How will you, you will then revise all of those charters uh, to align with the Maharlika Fund? Uh, that, and that's not the purpose of the GOCC, number one. Number two, what, this is a lot of income that goes to the national government, that is suddenly that will suddenly uh, 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 disappear. So, that will be, not, no, sorry, it will not disappear. It will go into the Maharlika Fund and cannot be used to, for the budget of the national government. And we have many things that we would like to, that we would like to appropriate uh, in the coming years, and we will need those funds. So, I don't think that that's a, that's a viable proposition, at least not for us. I've seen, uh, I, I know that there are other sovereign wealth funds that did it that way. Uh, but it's parang hindi bagay sa atin yun. Uh, kaya tayo, uh, we are a little lukewarm about that uh, idea. The worry about uh, be, the fund being used as a, a money laundering device implies that private monies will be put into the fund. But yes, private monies will be involved with the fund. But it's not a safe, it's not a, safe, it's not a, it's not a uh, savings account that you just put it there and it stays there. No, what will happen is the Maharlika Fund will serve as the seed fund for the, so for, uh, for the Sovereign Wealth Fund. And that, that the fourth, sorry, the 40 billion, 30 billion, 40 billion, whatever it may come to at that point, is going, is going to serve as the seed money for the fund. Now, whenever we come into partnership, we do a G2G with Japan, for example, or we do a, a PPP with some big uh, outfit, then uh, it's only the time that the monies come into the fund to be used for the program. Hindi yun basta, o sige, bigyan niyo ako ng ilang billion dolyar, tapos lalagay lang yun, ako basta akong bahala na dyan. It's not like that at all. And in fact, even on our end, we will only deploy funds when there is a very specific project to be paid for. So money laundering just won't come into it. Thank you very much, Ms. Karen Davila of ABS-CBN. Okay, mga to, lilinawin lang natin. Huwag tayo masyado magalit kagad kay Karen Davila. Ano, walang masama doon sa question. Kasi, unang-una, we are seeking unity, di ba? Si Karen Davila, reporter, alam naman natin kung ano ang brand niya. 
definitely hindi po natin siya makukuha kung patuloy po natin siyang kagagalitan, kaiinisan. Look kung paano siya ina-approach ng ating mahal na Pangulo. At that question is is not wrong. Hindi po mali yung question dahil issue po talaga yun eh. Na brought out yung sovereign wealth fund sa Davos, Switzerland. At uh, isa sa mga concerns, pwedeng mag-put up ng funds ang private organizations or individual sa soon to be called Maharlika Investment Fund. Ang pinag-aalala is it could be used maybe for money laundering. Ang ibig sabihin po ng money laundering para po sa inyong kaalaman na simple, maruming pera. Maruming pera. Ibig sabihin ng maruming pera, nanggaling po ito sa illegal. Ang tawag po doon, predicate crimes. Mga krimen na nangyari before na nagkaroon ng pera at yung maruming pera sisikapin na linisin sa pamamagitan po ng pag-iinvest sa mga investable funds. Isang way po iyan ng paglilinis ng pera. Kasi kung ituturo ko po sa inyo ang money laundering, it will take an, a day para lamang po ninyo maunawaan fully kung ano po ang money laundering. Ngayon, balik po tayo doon sa question. Hindi po masama. It is not wrong for Karen Dabila to ask that question because that is the questions being circulated sa mga dilaw, sa mga pink. At kailangan i-address yun ng ating mahal na Pangulo. And in-address ng ating mahal na Pangulo, dalawang instance ang kanyang ipinaliwanag. Huwag po nating sabihin din na para lamang palabasin sa harapan ng publiko na masama ang Maharlika Investment Fund, kaya tinatanong po yun ni Karen Dabila. Let's be fair kay Karen Dabila. Kasi pag hindi po natin pinut ang sarili natin in fairness sa mga critics ng ating mahal na Pangulo, hindi po natin sila makukuha. Yung mga anti-Marcos na talagang wala namang ginawa, katulad ng kaninang hinayit ko sa YouTube, huwag na natin i-entertain yun. Pero itong mga critical, kaya nga po critics, hindi po pwede ng isang tao hanggat maaari, oo lang ng oo. Kaya nga ako, di, hindi ko po dinideklarang loyalista ako eh. Kasi pagka dineklara kong loyalista ko, I will be loyal to PBBM. Whatever circumstance may be. Pero hindi ako ganon. I am a solid, a rabid supporter of PBBM. Hanggat kaya kong suportahan, dahil tama ang ginagawa ng ating mahal na Pangulo, gagawin ko. Pagka mali na, hindi na pwede yun kasi hindi po ako bulag. No? Hindi po ako bini. But I believe na sa panunungkulan ng ating mahal na Pangulo hanggang sa 2028, hindi po siya gagawa ng mali. At narinig naman natin yung napakagandang paliwanag dito ng ating mahal na Pangulo, di ba? Hindi mangyayari na magkaroon ng money laundering sa Maharlika Investment Fund sapagkat napakarami itong safeguard. At hindi ka basta-basta pwede magput ng funds dyan. Unang-una, gobyerno ang nagmamanage niyan. May mga board of trustees, chairperson, vice chairperson. Eh kung ikaw, meron kang maruming pera, just just para malinis yon ipuput mo dyan, mahuhuli ka. Kaya malabo pong mangyari